deep inside Kenya's biggest slum, a wedding is underway. Song and dance. The Nubian culture is in full display. This is known as Sela. And uh, today we are here because of a um, wedding ceremony that is to be held tomorrow. But uh, before the wedding, there's always a process that is followed, which includes uh, the bride prize. The procession is headed to the bride's homestead. Sela is a ceremony that begins right after the girl's family accepts to give their daughter away in marriage. It is like a, a ceremony. It is something very, very ceremonious. But the groom to be's family walks all the way from their home to the bride's home, carrying the gifts on their heads, singing and dancing. The groom's family marches towards the bride's home. The pace determined by how far the bride's home is. It is a match of jubilation, and they don't come empty handed but come bearing gifts carefully balanced on their heads. The gifts are carried by the groom's female cousins. The first wife from the groom's family also carries the incense that in the Nubian culture wards off the evil eye as they journey to the bride's family, accompanied by more song and dance. The procession is always led by uh, the first wife in the family or the, the groom's sister-in-law. And she carries a, a big plate that is a sinia. Inside the sinia, there is a, a, an uh, an which they put a uh, charcoal and uh, small saucers. Inside the saucers, we have, uh, I'd say, um, incense. The dance, popularly known as matwari, is usually led by young men from the community. This one, uh, you find young men with uh, small drums and they beat escorting there. The, 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 the bridal gift. Once the procession gets to the bride's home, it has to be received by two or three elderly women, usually aunties from the bride's side. Without this welcome, the groom's family cannot enter the home. This family is normally not allowed into the compound, no. Until somebody comes and gives them an okay, then they walk with the bridal gifts into the bride's compound. The gift bearers then enter the homestead and go around the sitting area seven times. This is done to ward off evil spirits within the compound. So after going around seven times, then they place the gifts down. Until the bride will come and open the gifts, and then the, it, it shows that it has been accepted and then the ceremony is over for the day. Once their gifts are accepted, the union of the two families is complete. The seller is termed successful. <laughs> Reporting for KBC, Amnisi Imano Okoth.